Okay, guys, so the biggest mistake that people make when they are doing this sweep is, let me show you, John steps up, I'm in stage one, he steps up, right, and he goes to throw the punch, and look, I do everything here, I get to this, look, but I am still on my back or facing him, I haven't changed planes, right, and that happens, if you watch the tape again, you'll see what I just did, I didn't move the hips and circle in, I just retracted the knee and put the hook underneath, and the problem is, when I go to sweep, I have all the elements, right? I got the hook under, I got the head, I switch for the pummel here, I'm stuffing the arm, I'm chopping, but can't, right? Because you only have power in the direction that you're facing. So whichever way you want to move your opponent, you need to position your body that way first. Remember that jujitsu is a game of angles. Whoever has the superiorly positioned angle can use the leverage with maximum efficiency in that direction. So the biggest mistake people make is, when John steps up the punch, right, is they may put the hook in, but they forget to move their hips. So it's critical that you open the guard, hang the weight, and then pivot the hips. Look, all the way out, enough to circle. Now look where I am, look, everything is this way, right? This leg and knee are pointed that way. This leg is ready to come to its knee that way. My body is facing that way. When I reach, it's up and over, and then I can just roll over this half of my body that way. Everything is set. Everything is set. Does that make sense? Okay. So let's finish the sweep now, right? We go under here, we stuff the armpit. I have the pummeled underhook here. When I drop the leg and chop, another incident that we run into is that people get stuck. Here's the sweep. People get stuck right here. Look at this foot, right? It's sort of stuck inside, right? It's sort of stuck inside the foot here that we're mounting with because the person may be looking to grab that foot and trap it right away. So one trick you can do is put your knee to the ground and then take the foot out this way and then bring it back in, okay? So here we are, if I just leave the foot hanging there, he can perhaps hook or trap the leg and play with it. And I want to keep my mount secure. So my hands are already down. I'm starting to move towards his chest. But I leave my knee touch the ground first. And then after leading with the knee, I open the leg and then go back in until I find my feet able to join one another. Then I can walk myself to the position low, wide, chest to chest, head next to his, knees barely touching the ground full hip pressure, right? Okay, let's look at the whole thing. Okay, thank you, John. Questions? Make sense, go give it a shot.